tis the season. No, it's not uh, that season. It's the other one. It's spring when you get your big update from Tesla and they send you some new goodies. Uh, this year it might be even better. Who knows? We've got quite a list and quite a guest to talk about it. Tesla Herbert is here. He knows all kinds of stuff. He's from Brighter and he does great work. Let's have a chat with him. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. <laughs> Good morning, Herbert. How are you? Good morning, Brian. Doing very good. I when I saw this drop of this new um, features, I, I was very excited. I thought they had quite a number of things that uh, is going to be very good. It's quite a week for it. It is that time of year, and uh, yeah, we've got to check it out. What we're looking at here is uh, some new stuff. Uh, have you heard anything about the big update? New user interface, auto shift, Audible, new Spotify, and more. Yeah, there's a few things here that I was really, really excited about. But the key thing here is that when you look at these features, you got to find out which cars it applies for and which cars it does not apply to. And this is where <laughs> I've got an old 2020 Model 3. And there's a few that I was so excited for that it's not going to be here. The main one is that auto trunk. When you, we'll, we'll talk about it, but when you get behind the trunk and I'll just pop open, that's the one that I've been waiting for. <laughs> my wife has been asking for that for so long. And uh, I thought, oh my God, it's here finally. But it turns out that it's, I think we'll find out here. It's for uh, 2021 Model S and X and the new Model 3s. But let's let's find out. I think you're right. So on this, this is what you will see when you're parked. Your full vehicle control, very pretty. Little yeah. map here in the corner, um, your other controls. So uh, the the software update sounds like the one we generally get at the end of the year, the holiday update. But the you know spring is a, is another exciting time of year. The spring update, noticeable changes: immersive full screen view, large playback controls, expandable autopilot driving visualizations with a smaller map in the top right, so that you can have a small map when you're driving. Maybe we shall see. And new vehicle graphics dead center. Yes. So auto shift beta can now shift between drive and reverse based on your surroundings. This is something that they were planning to do a long time ago. Right. This, this isn't for those of us who still have a, a shifter stock, I assume, uh, but it'll be anyone who doesn't. So the S, X, and new three, it should start doing the thing that we thought it was going to do out of the gate years ago. If you scroll back up again, I think it says here it's coming to refresh Model S and Model X 2021 and later. The auto shift beta is fantastic, right? So this is just the brand new cars that have it, which is when you're parked and you're in, you're in your garage, it knows that there's a wall in front of you. So it'll automatically set it to reverse for you. Um, you know, they, they've had this for a number of cars now. And so people have figured out that this works. And so now they're expanding it. But I wish that this came to our cars as well. Like I'm saying, I've got the older model model three so but it, my point here is that they've tested it out it seems to be working and so now they're expanding it across it's just great it does it makes perfect sense it knows that I, i'm in a parking spot back me out and when i right. get out of the spot and into the street and i'm straight and i put my foot on the brake it says yeah we're going forward now <laughs> you're going it, forward now. it's time to go forward so uh yeah I don't know. It sounds so dangerous, I tell you. But uh, again, I'm, I'm assuming that they know that it's working. So, yeah, getting rid of the drive stock felt like a solution in search of a problem. And I mm -hmm. just didn't have a problem. Uh, new and updated native apps. Tesla says it'll release a native Audible app. Audible is Amazon's right. book, uh, audiobook app. And Spotify is getting an update. So cues across vehicle and device and adjustable playback speed are now available. Yeah. Adjustable playback a, speed. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, that's a very, very big one, by the way. Um, my family, my children, my wife, they love Spotify. And for years, they had to like connect the, uh, the Spotify app on their phones to be able to do this. And then when my wife discovered that she just opens up the, you know, the Tesla screen, opens up the Spotify app there and all of hers are synced. She loved it. That's the Honestly, she goes, this feature is so amazing because now she doesn't have to pull out her phone. So these things add up, right? These little updates. And we just mentioned the fact that I don't know any other car, any other, you know, that updates like this uh, regularly with new features. It's very much like a phone, iPhone, right? <laughs> Every once in a while, you're like, wow, I can do this now. <laughs> and there are people I've seen who say, yeah, but my car already has Bluetooth. What's why is <laughs> in what way is this better? And the answer is all it is better in all the ways. 
I don't. So much better. It's so much better. I press the button and I say, play whatever it is that I wish to see, uh, to hear. And it just plays it. Um, yeah, it's just wonderful. Now, this is what you're, you would yeah. have liked to have seen. I feel so like, bad. I feel like <laughs> it's almost possible that that yeah. rear backup camera has a wide enough field of view that maybe you could see me waggle my foot. I'm going to hold out hope that this is coming to the vehicles without that right. under sensor underneath. Yeah, the question is like, why can't they come? So what this is, is they call it hands-free trunk, and it's going to the Model S and X 2021 and later, and the upgraded Model 3. So now it's like, it's not coming to me. <laughs> or but me. what you do, if you stand still behind your trunk with your phone key, so if you just have your phone and you're behind the trunk for a little bit longer, the trunk will open on its own. Um, this is this is exactly what I wanted, right? Because you know the the Ford where you can wave your foot at the bottom, and mm -hmm. uh, that's a really big feature. You're walking up there with your your groceries all the time, and you're you know trying to sh get that trunk open, and uh, this would have been just so awesome. <laughs> but it's got enough a wide enough field of view that if it can look at my foot, well, no, I yeah. don't know. But if it can if it can see me and it can see my foot and it sees me do a little waggle there, that's as good I, as a sensor. In, in this one, you don't need to do the waggle. This is just you now knowing that you're right behind it. Maybe, I, I just, maybe they didn't find it to be, you know, false positives, false negatives. I don't know, but this is the one that I really wanted and I was so disappointed. Sentry mode, remote viewing. That's a big one. I already have that. I already oh, have that though. What's for, viewable from the notifications. I, I love this. I set this on this thing where you can like at any point in time, check into your car, look at the cameras that it's seeing just to, just to double check. Everything's okay. I love it. Now, if something happens, you could have a notification. And then if you did, you just click on it. Yeah. And watch yeah. it right there on your screen. Just one step less. One step less. Finally, Tesla says it will save parents the need to answer a few. Are we there yet now with the capability <laughs> for rear passengers to get the, the nav map in the rear seat uh screen time and temperature at the top as well do you think, uh, do you think their kids you, can read a map <laughs> are you speaking from experience no well but they can see yes it's are you speaking from experience oh, yeah. here mr mr musk do you have a child uh, in the back seat who's impatient on long drives <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. It's, you know, the whole joke these days is that kids don't know how to read a map and yet I do, but uh, honestly, it's, uh, I don't know. I'm not proud of that. <laughs> yeah. Well, reading a map is a skill and we tend to not teach skills that are out of date, <laughs> I guess. And that makes sense in its own way. Um, what, uh, are there any features missing that you'd have liked to have seen? Oh, that's a good question. I uh, I've, I've stopped dreaming about this i think for a while because i just don't want to get myself uh, hopes up the big one was that you know the the trunk opening in the back there i thought that was good i think the bird's eye view and parking was something i was really wanting but you know with the new version of the visual uh, visualization now without even without the uh, the ultra sensitive h what is the hdd the uh, the high definition radar even without that uss mixed up. And, uss yeah yeah yeah, yeah. even without that you know how they get the fantastic right. view of the parking lot. This is actually a better solution than the one I was missing, right? Like, am I in the right sp parking spot now? That's solved. But that was one I was wanting for a long time. I I will say that when it first rolled out, it was not great. It was pretty right. good, and that now it seems very accurate because I look at the overhead to see where my lines are, and then I check, and now they're dead on. And I would say the other one that people were asking for i think we got on a previous one which is an improvement to the automatic windshield wipers i don't have the same yes. kind of problems that i had with my automatic wipers before oh, where they were basically I've just had... set on shuffle no <laughs> mine has been absolutely terrible for the last six months year just terrible never be turned on when i wanted to turn on and uh, apparently it's fixed i have not seen the fix that's that's a fix that they should have done long time ago but apparently it's solved it. It's just another example of neural nets. This is supposed to be right. Neural net machine learning, figuring this out automatically and uh, it didn't work. And then now it's working. So it's just another feature right in front of your eyes that shows you that, you know, this thing can with enough data, it can figure things out like this. Apart from your Tesla, have you ever owned a car that got better after you bought it? <laughs> never, never, never. This is, 
That's why I don't even feel like this is a 2020 car, honestly. You know, it's like whenever, sometimes you hear a feature come to the new ones, but not the old ones. And that's where I get look, okay. And then there's a little FOMO. I want the new one now because it has that feature. But I, I got to tell you, every single six months, year, there's always something new. And I love it. It's like, a, it's brand new. I yeah. don't feel anything old about this car, tell you the truth. It's like, yeah. it's just as fast. It's charged just as fast. New features all the time. I'm yes. not missing anything. I'm not missing anything. I took my uh, Nissan in for service and they said, oh, there's a new firmware for your uh, transmission. Uh, it's 80 bucks. Do you want it? And I said, no, <laughs> no, no. And uh, apparently they'd already added it without a signature. So he goes, oh, well, we'll just give it to you for free then as a courtesy. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause, cause while you were plugged in, you just pushed it. Oh, just slimy. Oh man. Well, I'm excited for the update in the comments, guys. I would like to hear from you. What kind of features were you expecting? What were you looking to see? Uh, what, what are you deeply, deeply disappointed about? I tell you when the stock is trading in dangerous bands, you get a whole lot of brand new comments from brand yeah. new people who don't believe in EVs, but do watch all of these and have some very deep thoughts. Uh, so if you see those guys around, maybe respond to them. Maybe uh, remind them that uh, the sky is not falling, that EVs are not dead, and that these are exciting times in which we live and that we're just happy to have them as fellow members of society, even if they are robots. So what do we miss? What do we misunderstand? I don't know, guys. You got to tell us so we can figure it out. Uh, smack the likes, do the subscribes. You know what you're doing. And everybody else, stay tuned, stay juicy. And I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the next update. <laughs>